song. Welcome back to the show. Every time we say something, this man turns it into a song today. That's right. This man is Rob Feeney. That's right. A food concept architect. Yes, you're looking very slim. Yes, I know. Every I time we see you, off. you're getting fitter. You're going to have a workout now? <laughs> How can a man live in Winnipeg, where it's minus 40 right now, and continue to uh, have a workout regime? It's minus 40. Uh, it was yes yesterday. It's a little bit warmer today. It's minus 16. <laughs> so that's but you're better. here? We're making some food? What yes. are you making today? Well, Winnipeg inspired. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, I was, I was, you know, we've done a, I've done a few different things, but for whatever reason, it's like I've made, for my kids, because I'm cooking a lot there, I was making, uh, over the holidays, I made some sloppy joes. And then I'm thinking, okay, Vancouver, what well, would be more fun to sort of do a sloppy joe, but do an Asian kind of version, right? right. So this is what we're kind of doing. So we're going to do a sloppy joe, which is, this is the perfect time of year to have it. I think a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold, but it's very filling. Yeah. And this recipe that I'm going to share with everyone, I think what's really good about it is that once you have this recipe, um, Ming Sai, who I just did, a, I did an event with in Barbados uh, in November, Ming uh, just came up with a new book. He's got some really cool, exciting things in it. But I mean, he does sort of that, you know, that sort of pan-Asian sort of cross mm -hmm. yeah. with, with some of the stuff. So this is kind of some and I'm inspired coming over by him. Speaking of so, pans, so this it's one's okay. smoking. It's okay. We're going to put the <laughs> onions right. in. He's a it's professional okay. man. Don't so worry about it. What I got, I've got a little bit of onion. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I, 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 we're just going to sort of do a typical sloppy joe, but we're going to add a couple of little Asian ingredients. So I've okay. got onion. Is that, that red onion? Is that what no, I started them off ahead of time. That's why they've okay. been wilted already. I'm going to get a little bit of celery. A little celery for some okay. crunch. And then again, this is where the Asian part comes in. Uh, I'm going to put ginger. a ginger. And then we're going to take a little bit of garlic. Okay. And you're right for this time of the year. It's kind of comfort food, sloppy joe thing. I think so. And I think what I, what I was going to say is that once you have it made, right, once you have the base made, this base can probably stay in the fridge for a good week. So the yeah. great thing about people at home with a meal like this is that, first of all, it's when, once it's done, you can have it right away, or you can have it like the next day or a week later. And on top of that, what's fun about this is that it can be almost a base like a bouillonnaise sauce. Mm. Ah. So pasta, right? A but a, but an Asian style, that's right. So I've got, I've got a little bit of the celery in there now. Then I'm going to take a little bit of, I've got, this is just ground. Uh, pork and ground beef that I that I've done. Both and cooked, together. Yeah, we That's did. That's interesting. We did a little bit. Yeah, we, I cooked a little bit ahead of time already, just because to save time for right. everyone at home. So we're gonna put that together, and then basically what uh, I'm gonna finish this with, just for some moisture, because you need when you have sloppy joes, they have to be sloppy, right? They do have to be sloppy, otherwise they're just joes. <laughs> did I just think of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> did I just come up with something? Um, new? And what's that? Remember the hamburger helper, though. Yeah. Remember that. This is not hamburger this helper. Is not. That's they disgusting. still have it, sketchily enough. Okay, so, but you need a little bit of liquid in that, right? So what I've got, I've got a little bit of tomato sauce. I'm going to add, right? But you still need a little bit of sort of the Asian component too. So what I've got is I've got some hoisin sauce here and soy mixed together. We're just going to put. Don't. I always get nervous when I squeeze these bottles at the top. I know, because you know. See, look at the top's going to come off. So what did okay. you say so was in there? Touch. Soy sauce. This is a little what? bit of soy sauce, hoisin sauce together, and I've got a little bit of cilantro. Okay, we're going to put that in. So you can obviously at home, you're going to cook the meat off ahead of time first. Then you're going to yeah. add, you're going to add, uh, you all add all the other ingredients. You add it. So we're going to mix this together. Now, what you have on the end there, Michael, just yes. you know, with the buns, I've, is we're going to kind of go to that side now with Fiona as well. A couple quick things. What am things. I doing here? I'm doing this the is slaw. a little bit of slaw. So I've got just, we've got the mix already. You're I'm doing just heating this up. You've got some finished mix over there, I do, Michael. Yes. Okay. And then Fiona, what I'm going to do is. And this is uh, just cabbage shredded with cilantro. This is just shredded cilantro? cabbage with cilantro. And which, by the way, if you're wondering why I know why I'm so thin, I eat a lot of cabbage. But that means I fart a lot. <laughs> Sorry. See, it was Rob. it was left quiet <laughs> or silent and deadly until he felt like he had to actually Rob. say it. Everybody really? knows what Listen. cabbage does. Every time we do these segments, they're going <laughs> fine. And it was like the asparagus, the asparagus pee moment there. Like it's all the people I'm understand. Sorry. It's I'm fine. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Anyways, there. Uh, I was wondering what that noise was. I Why someone, am I standing next? I thought, I thought someone left their engine running. Okay, so I'm standing next so to him, and I'm afraid. <laughs> I've got. What did you put in here? <laughs> That's just okay. No, so, but what did you put in? So here? back to the food. That's my fault this time. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is just <laughs> cabbage, a little bit of cilantro, and this is a, a, a ponzu vinaigrette. So it's uh, soy sauce. Yeah. This is soy sauce. If everyone wants to make ponzu at home, it's basically equal amounts of ponzu. Or sorry. Uh, um, soy, soy sauce, sauce. Rice. rice vinegar, and lemon juice. Okay, that's what that is, okay? So it's got that then, nice little tart flavor. And this is a little bit of, just a bit of spicy mayo, so if you guys want to put some on the bottom. Okay. Okay. This is really good. I, I'm, and now we're pretending he didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, Well, did. it's true, though. But yeah. it is. Well, not, and cabbage is very healthy not, for you, and just not right. weight loss. Let's not share any more diet secrets right now. <laughs> just not right now, it's not true. 
Just so we all know. So is this all going together? The slot yeah, this going is going on together. as well. And the other thing I want to point out too is this is a this is a brand new bun that I've just got at Cactus. Um, is it? It's a really it's a it's our new hamburger bun. It's really really good. And it's, it's really it's, soft. It's, so it's very soft. So what we're gonna do is it we're almost looks like a cheese. So way ahead, much. So why don't you why don't you two go okay. ahead? Go, go, go ahead, feet. To make it sloppy. You go ahead, Mike. I've been waiting here to make the sloppy the whole time. Okay, and then you do the cabbage. I'll get this out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Am I still See, here? See this, this is. Here. I'm sorry, but I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Me too. Right. I'm sorry, but I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I have to fill the apologies. Do we put the slaw on top of the sloppy part? Yeah. Put it right up. Put on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Go crazy. Look at that. I'm crazy. Yeah, man. Look at that. I'm hungry. The whole know, point is sloppy dough. Dish. Okay. Now, are these going to be on the menu, or are you just You know what? It's here? funny you said that a lot. I was just saying, like, a lot of the things that I've shared uh, with, with everyone at home here, this is, you know, they're meant to sort of be fun, simple, relaxed. But oddly enough, when I was putting this, this together, I was like, then this would be fun at Cactus. This would I be. think it would be fun. So it's not knows? date food. You do not want to. No, no. You know See, this is, really so you don't want to get into a sloppy joke yeah, on the first look, date. But look at, like, oh, I just so think, that, oh, isn't that good? Look at that. That, that is, looks delicious. And what's great about it, too, like I was saying, is that once the, the mix is done. perfect. So the once mix the, is looking good, too. So once the mix is done, right, the cool thing here is if you wanted to, you could use this, like I said, if you wanted to make sort of an Asian. An Asian uh, bolognese sauce right. with spaghetti. You've got that, and you also can use it for. You could, if you just want to just tortillas. on its own tortillas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's yeah, a lot you of can different do tacos, things you do with it. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. With or, it. Yeah, du uh, yeah. I was gonna say duck. It's not. It's pork and beef tacos. But if you did it with duck, that would be delicious. Just go easy on the cabbage. Trust go me. easy on the Rob, cabbage. Thank you. Uh, it's a little uh, nugget of information. A man who makes delicious food and has yeah. lovely buns as well, and uh, endorses cabbage. Well, Asian sloppy joes. Are you hungry now? I am.